Hello, and today I will be teaching you how to play Steam VR, like Steam VR games like Phasmophobia, Gorilla Target, SCP Lab Rat, from your Oculus Quest 2 using Airlink. No cable required. And if this does not work for you, then I do not know what to say because this is, I have just figured this out and I feel like I want to share with everyone. So you don't need a link cable. You need a good PC, a, a good enough PC to run Steam. Um, VR games because you know you do need a good enough PC to run Steam VR games so um, let's just get into it and we're gonna he head over to the VR oh by the way it's to mention you have to be connected to the same wireless internet it cannot be an Ethernet cable it has to be a wireless internet or an, it will not work because this is air leak not um, like a link cable but that's that's all I have to say Okay, so now we are in the VR. As you see, I'm on my video here. So don't worry about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this thing. You have to have a VR-ready computer. I mean, it doesn't have to be VR-ready. It has to be a good, a good enough computer to be able to run AirLink. Like Phasmophobia, you're going to need a good enough computer to be able to run it. I don't have a good enough computer to be able to run it correctly. But, you know, I still do it, and it's, it lags a lot, but, you know, it's okay. So, what we're going to do is, you know, we're connected to the same internet. Remember the internet I showed you earlier? We're connected to it, and we're going to do AirLink. So, we're going to launch AirLink right now. Okay, so after launching AirLink, as you can see, we're on AirLink. We have everything here. I'm all my friends. So, we're going to go to, um, you know... If you have Steam installed on your computer, you might want to do this. So, you want to go to Add Desktop, and you want to go to Steam. And then from there, you want to go to the store, and you want to download Steam VR. And now, when we have it downloaded, we have it here. And once you open it for the first time, it will go automatically to your library. But you have to do it this way. You have to launch it from your um, VR, like this. Launch. And you have to wait for it to launch. And see, it's all right, automatically directing me to Steam VR. And then now we're in Steam VR. As you can see, this is the Steam VR area. This this is not Oculus. This is Steam VR. So what we're gonna do is we have all my games here, and these are the Steam Steam VR games. And now you're free to play. Like Phasmophobia. Look, we're launching it right now. Next up, Phasmophobia. Now just wait. I will show you that Phasmophobia does work, and it is very easy actually. You don't even need a link cable. So you just need you need the correct VR games like Phasmophobia. You need Steam VR and you need a good internet connection, I guess, and a good PC if you want to run the games good though. So as you can see, we're in Phasmophobia and we're literally playing Phasmophobia. Look, I'm like, just wait, just wait. It's loading. It's loading. This is a just you know full sense whatever, and it's loading. And just wait for it to load. And as you can see, we are in Phasmophobia. Look, we got all the stuff here from Phasmophobia. Everything there. We have the basketball. Uh, all these pictures I took from my last previous game. As you can see, these are all in VR because there's my VR thing right there. But, you know, here the, this is it. This is um, Phasmophobia in VR. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Um... You know, I actually spent a long time trying to get this um working. Like it took a long time to get the Steam VR working. And I will put a link in the description to download Steam VR and I'll put a link in the description to the to the games I mentioned earlier. Like I will put a link in the description to download Phasmophobia. It is not free though. So uh I will uh see you later I guess.